Hi I am Bobby. I am a robot cat. I must preface this by saying that I am in fact a true believer of magic. However, there seems to be a trend of mediocre magicians. Three such alleged scammers I shall share with you today. And then we will move on to the glaringly problematic practice of trauma tarot. This cat has had his fair share of successful tarot readings, but I find issue when YouTuber, tarot readers take advantage of terrible situations. Unfortunately even some of the most highly respected YouTube tarot readers have succumbed to the temptation to do Gabby Petito readings. The most baffling part of it all is that all of their conclusions varied drastically. Let us begin, amongst the steadfast thorns in the side of magic work is Caroline Ironwill. She is an outspoken grifter who takes to the internet any time she has a damaging opinion, or a need for new sound equipment. She originally gained reputation via sympathy when Catherine Joy mocked her for her intolerance for chewing sounds. Fair enough. However, she took things entirely too far when she created a magical spell in which she writes Catherine Joy's name on a loo roll and wipes her ass with it. Let's have a look. I am not someone who throws a lot of curses. I can go years without feeling like I need to step in and use magic. But I'm going to do that today, because uh, shenanigans is afoot. Use a highlighter too, um, and toilet paper, and your own digestive system. And then, I got two names here. Oh, who's on this? Who's on this? Um, wait until you have to move your bowels. And then with their names against your behind, wipe and then flush. What the fuckery is this? Another mediocre magician to avoid would be Ashley Reiner. Ashley or Miss Ashley Cat has a long history of glaringly obvious alleged addiction issues. But this does not stop her from taking your money and then later accusing you of not paying her and doxing you all over the internet. You also have to factor in the risk you take when paying her, for you may not get your reading because Ashley sleeps during a great portion of most of her streams. Next up is Siwa Moon. She is a self-proclaimed Christian witch who charges money for spirit box sessions and other magical services that she guarantees will aid you in living a more positive lifestyle. However, roughly 87% of her content on her YouTube channel is not positive at all. In fact, she spends the majority of her time arguing with known internet troublemakers and then crying about it while being showered with super chat donations. Flip thinks that Captain Content has a crush on her. How embarrassing. Honey, he he does. He flat out said it himself. Do you forget that's why Trisha flew off at the handle at me one day? She's like, oh, Captain has a crush on Siwa. You really think like... Among the most problematic alleged fake magic she has performed was a recent spirit box session. She is hiding behind an avatar and talking to the alleged mother of problematic Jen Bailey. And wouldn't you know the spirit is speaking and answering her clearly. But how the fuck would any of us really know because she does all of this behind an avatar. It is almost as if it isn't real at all. Wow. Pat, are you, do you feel better? Um... She said something. Uh. Moving on to my most important topic. Among YouTube at Arrow, there are many well-performing creators. Which has me completely gutted that respectable readers would hop on the drama train. From claims that Brian Laundry did not harm Gabby Petito, to speculations on Gabby's personality and mental health, hundreds of readers took to the platform to share their results many of them not even remotely similar let us have a look swords card for no did brian kill gabby cubs card for yes swords card for no cubs card for yes swords card for no hmm. 
So swords card, no, but he knows something, something happened. Hmm. Swords card is no, that like he didn't kill her intentionally, but something happened. Look at the tower card. Something happened that I feel like, look at the way it's saying like. Fucking Christ. Let's move on to Real Housewives of Tarot. I still feel that it, it's a very, with that Ten of Wands, it's a very, it's like an uncomfortable silence. Does that make sense? Of course it does. The cop cameras had already been released. Left. With the Eight of uh, Cups and the Five of Pentacles. So she was left alone. She was like, left alone. But had she already passed? We know. He returned home without her. Without her, maybe they were in an argument, and when she went to go walk away, just ran right up behind her and just... Because she was incapable of defending herself. Of course, there were many ads and sprakes. Moving on to yet another speculative and quite callous reading, Aunt Fridity. Now, while I am sure they built a following for good reason, this reading was tactless at best. The only thing I will say is it does look like she has a history of impulsive behavior. So it's not that I think, it's not completely unfounded. However, the issue is, is that just because something happened once doesn't mean it applies to everything you do moving forward. So to me, it's almost like holding her hostage with some of the behavior patterns that are consistent. I'm not really sure what that means, but it just means like, I just see her as impulsive. So it seems like, it seems like it's like, yeah, sometimes impulsive decisions make, you know, you make a bad decision, you make an impulsive decision, but you can't hold that over their head forever. And I feel- Wow. Um, and felt like she was selfish with her time because he felt neglected. I don't really understand why the two of them are together. He doesn't look like someone who's well-suited for a dreamer. Um, that's why I'm like, was she like a Pisces or something? Especially because she showed up as Queen of Cups. Um, so it's like, for me, I read that as, um, like, she dreamed really big. She had these really big ideas and she needed someone who would go with her and do stuff. And he's not that type of person. So I genuinely don't understand why he was doing this because um, he doesn't like that type of person. It's almost like he wanted her to be someone she wasn't. And he thought that if she finally followed through with what she said she was going to do, she would hate it and then go back home. But then I don't think that ever happened. The issue here is that even if you are Gandalf himself, this is not a celebrity love life reading. This is not a trending topic. Not short of mentioning that all of this information could be easily conceived based off of the videos released by law enforcement. Something you alluded to in the start of your video. Lastly, we move on to Enchanted Insights whose reading was also vastly different than others. I wanted to pull cards and connect to the energy surrounding the disappearance of Gabby Petito. Petito. I feel like she's just stuck somewhere. I feel like she's stuck somewhere and... Hmm. I feel like there's some sort of other energy around her right now like a masculine energy that's around her. Excuse my bluntness, it seems all of these tarot readings popped up shortly after the cop camera footage. Furthermore I have yet to see a reading that isn't completely derived from the media. But do continue. Something is going to happen that is going to either prevent the search from continuing or just like somehow stall the process. In this area as well, or in this space, um because there is a lot of fire energy and i feel like with this three of wands typically three of wands you know you're progressing you're going forward but there's some sort of delay there's some sort of delay in finding her the issue my dear viewers it is that many tarot readers jumped on social media to give vastly different predictions for the situation the majority of them monetized there is no denying that magic exists but it is my belief that much of this is created with the intention of views and AdSense revenue. There is a time and a place for novelty tarot readings. This situation would not be one to utilize for fodder. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. This cat is always prowling.